Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Vibes with Valencia. And today I'm here with a brand new video for you guys. And I'm gonna show you guys how I transform my IKEA Monkstad mirror into this beautiful, beautiful glam mirror using crushed glass. If you would like to see how I achieve this look, please stay watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. The items we will be using for this project are this crystal reflective fire glass and I purchased this uh, from Lowe's for about $70. So before I go into the video, I want to show you guys what the crystals look like. And I just want you guys to see exactly how beautiful this um, crushed glass is that I purchased from Lowe's because I couldn't find any of the crushed glass at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. So I just want to let you guys see what it looks like. And because this is such a big project, um, that's why I went and got them and I crushed the glasses down to about this size. So once you use a hammer, just a FYI, once you use a hammer and you pung it, the glasses then will be a little bit more finer. crush them some more so this is what it looks like so this is your crushed glass and you could use it just for the fireplace next we're going in with a combination of glitter so i have this chunky glitter right here jumbo chunky glitter and i purchased this from um hobby lobby Next, we have some adhesive bling wrap. I use one package of this. Next, we have this Loctite PL530 mirror, marble, and granite. So I have this, and you would also need to purchase a cart, a cock gun. And this is what the cock gun look like. Painter's tape. I have the Rust-Oleum um, two times ultra cover paint and primer metallic silver. I use two can of this spray paint. I have Mod Podge gloss, Mod Podge high shine, super high shine. And I have a foam brush and that's used for putting down the Mod Podge. And you also need one for um at the end when you're gonna seal. Hey guys, so let's get into making this mirror. So I went to my local Lowe's and I purchased a 30 by 36 inch mirror for $19.88 and I had it cut down into various um, sizes. So the sizes are 4, 34 and 3 eighths, 4, 18 and a half, 2, 21 and a half and 4, 31 and a half. Total strips are 14. Next, I'll be going in with my electric sander with a 60 grit sandpaper and filing down the rough edges of the mirror and then to top it off and make it have a nice smooth finish so no one will get hurt when they run their hands across the mirror i will smooth it out with a 2000 grit sandpaper and i'll be doing this there for all 14 pieces next i went with a dry rag and i went to remove any type of dust that i may have on the frame of the mirror Next, I got some painter's tape and newspaper so that I could cover the mirror so that when I start to paint, no type of spray paint would go on top of the mirror. Next, I'll be going in with my metallic silver spray paint. 
when using this spray paint you want to make sure that you shake it up real good and you want to wait 10 minutes after you apply your first coat to go back in with your next coat and also make sure that you do nice long strokes All right, guys, something that I want to bring to your attention. So I realized that I had leave my mirror outside for about three hours to dry. And every time when I would go and touch it, for some reason, some of the paint was still coming off on my fingertips. So then I went to do some research to find out as to why the paint, the spray paint was coming off on my fingertip. And then I came across something stating that IKEA furnitures are made from a laminate wood. And you would have to stand down the wood in order for the paint to adhere to it once we finished sanding down the frame for the mirror we went back in with our spray paint and we spray painted the whole entire frame and it did adhere properly next i'll be going in with my loctite pl530 mirror marble and granite adhesive and i will be using this to secure the mirror onto the frame and as you guys can see right here i'm going in and i'm adding some ad adhesive to the smaller strips of mirror and once i finish apply those small strips onto the inner pieces of the frame i will go in with the bigger mirror strips and i'll add them to the outer part of the frame and guys i just want to let you guys know that all of the information as far as the sizing of the mirror strips will be linked in the description box below. So here in this clip, my husband is just taking a regular poster board and he's just basically pushing the crushed glass into the Mod Podge so that, you know, everything could kind of like come together. And he's also trying to make sure that he levels the crushed glass because when I apply the crushed glass, I apply a whole lot. And because the mirror is so heavy, we didn't want it to like lift it up and then throw it off, throw off the crushed glass. So he's just pressing everything in right now. And then later on, we will lift it up and then get off the excess um, crushed glass. One thing I want to let you guys know is that the blue tape that you're seeing is uh, painter's tape. And what happened is that we actually put painter's tape on the mirror that we glue down to the frame. So that's the reason why you're seeing the blue tape right there 
all right guys so right now i am going in with some chunky glitter and i will be adding this chunky glitter onto the crush glass just so that i could have more of a sparkly glam effect So right here, I'm going back in with the Mod Podge and I will be applying it a thin layer to the crushed glass just to try and make sure that everything stick so that the crushed glass would not fall off of the frame once we lift it up. So in this step, we are taking the Mod Podge High Gloss Spray Sealer and we are basically spraying the crushed glass so that it could be sealed real good so that we don't have any type of fallouts or whatsoever. All right guys, so this is the final step. So here it is, we are removing the painter's tape from the other pieces of mirrors that's around the frame. So this is the last step. And I just wanna let you guys know as well that we let this mirror stay inside of the garage for about three days, you know, with the heat and everything so that it could kind of get to everything to settle in and basically adhere well to the frame. So we wanted a nice chrome finish for our mirror. So we went to AutoZone and we purchased this Crawls Chrome Adhesive Automotive Trim that is two inches wide by 16 feet long. And this I will be used for the three sides of the mirror. All right, guys, and here is the complete look. Um, I just want to let you guys know that off camera, I added some of the bling wrap to the sides of the mirror. And I also added an inner piece for the mirror to make the whole mirror chrome. Um, I can't give you the measurements for the inner piece of the mirror because it was very, very snug to put in. I think it's like a half an inch all the way around. So um, this is the complete look and I hope you guys 
enjoy this video please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up thank you so much for watching